turbos where some episodes I talk about teeth because I'm a dentist, other episodes I talk about things that preferably have a turbo like cars and that kind of thing. Today we're going to be installing the adjuster by Attitude Performance Products on my 12 valve Cummins. It's basically a bone stock truck. The only thing it's got is a five inch exhaust. So it's a 96, it's got the 12 valve and I'm looking to add a little bit of spice but not go too crazy. Since it is an automatic, I really don't want to push the trans, but I also want to have the adjustment on the fly. I looked at other products. I really like the simplicity of this one. Come here and check this out. It only has one control knob where you can turn it up. I think it's 16 different settings and this mounts inside the cab. This is an adjustable fuel plate that this cord hooks to. This goes underneath the AFC housing. We're going to screw it into place and uh, also add this this piece to the AFC housing, as I'll show you guys. Like I said, this is just to kind of add a little bit of spice to my truck. I'm looking to have the power and a little bit of smoke on the fly on demand and not all the time. So I found this product to be exactly what I wanted. It's 500 bucks. I bought it from a, a company. Uh, like I said, it's the adjuster by Attitude Performance Products. So come follow along as I install it and kind of show you. This is my first time ever installing a product like this especially on a 12 valve. I've done a little bit of performance stuff on cars like cold air intakes, exhaust, lots of little little stuff that's bolt-on, but this is a little bit more in depth for me, so come follow along. To do is remove the valve cover. There's a bolt here and a bolt in the back, and then take off the fuel lines. Some people are able to wiggle around the AFC housing by getting through the fuel lines, but I'm gonna do it right. Take off the valve cover, take off the fuel lines, take off the intake horn, really get in there so I can get a good view of everything. I've got big hands and these are tight spaces. So. This is just a three quarter inch. And then all the fuel lines are three quarter inch. There's six over here and then six on the pump, on the P pump. Take this off. All right, so now I'm gonna take off my intake horn. There is a 10 millimeter on the bands here. And then I believe this is an 11. So here's the intake horn. Now I can get a good view of the P pump to get all of these fuel lines off and then access my AFC housing. All the fuel lines disconnected and we're just gonna take these fuel lines off. housing the four bolts that hold it on there's usually a safety one here but it looks like somebody's been in here before the truck doesn't drive like it's aftermarket but whether somebody did maintenance on it or whatever you're gonna need to get into that tamper proof screw a lot of people just grind through it and I am going to just unscrew it So I got the AFC housing out. The safety screw, nobody's been in here before, but it looks like they had tried. It was completely seized. So I used a Dremel and cut off the top of the screw, unbolted the other three, it lifted it off, and I was able to unscrew the, the other half of the screw out of the P-pump just fine. So it was clearly seized up here on top, but that was tough. So with this out, we have to replace this lever right here that comes in the adjuster kit. And then we're also gonna be taking out the fuel plate here here, come zoom in. We're gonna be taking out this fuel plate. Make sure not to drop these screws in here because then you're gonna be pulling your whole P-pump off the motor to get it out apparently. So I'm gonna be taking this fuel plate off. The adjuster sits right on there and then this AFC housing sits on top of that. So you wanna come over here, I'll show you. So on the motor, after we switch out the plate, this is gonna sit on there, I believe. Something like that, just like that. And then this will feed into the cab where you'll have your control knob inside via this cord. Let's get to it. Okay, so on the AFC housing, 
you have to replace this arm. And by doing that, you just have to remove this small bolt on the end. You slide this black piece out of here. It takes this bar out and you can put the new, the new arm in. After that, tighten it back up and now it's ready to go back in the truck. This goes underneath it, something like, like this. Something like that inside the truck. And then that's the cord where you touch the cord to go into the cab so it can adjust this fuel plate back and forth. Okay, I've got the adjuster in place. Make sure you hook up the cord that's gonna go into the cab first before you place the plate. So I put it all together and realized it's gonna be really hard to get to. So I had to take it all back off. Make sure the fuel shutoff solenoid is slid into the groove on the adjuster. Put your AFC housing on top of that, hook everything back up. See how she does. So I've got everything back together. We got the adjuster plate down here. AFC is above that. We got the line going right there. You can see it goes back into the cab next to the brake booster and next to the gas pedal. I'll show you what it looks like mounted in the cab. I did it right here above the uh, parole drive shifter. This needs to be tightened, but all back together. Yes, I'm gonna keep the stock air horn, try and keep everything as stock as possible. Other than, like I said, having that little bit of spice with that in the exhaust. Maybe I might do some bigger injectors, but I really wanted that stock look. Probably repaint this, repaint this, get everything cleaned up a little bit, but this is it for under the hood. Let's go drive this thing. guys to wrap things up the adjuster made a huge difference performance wise a lot of more smoke when i'm starting off and then at cruising speeds as well the great thing is, is you can crank it all the way back down to stock so it's fully adjustable on like you know most of these 12 valves it's all mechanical people shave the plate and then that's what you're stuck with this thing you can have the stock or you can have the power and smoke whatever you want it's worth the 500 bucks. It made a big difference performance wise. I'm really happy with it. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and like and leave me a comment on what else you wanna see. I'm really pumped to get this truck. I've always wanted a 12 valve, so I'm starting to do some little things to it to give it that stock look with a little bit of spice. Like I told you before, I have that five inch exhaust. Now I have the adjuster. Now I'm just starting to put stock emblems back on it, a new stock grill. I'm gonna do a really cool bed liner and toolbox and pretty much wraps it up. Down the road, I probably just wanna get a good stereo in it because it's kind of crappy right now, but make sure you guys subscribe and I'll start posting more videos about this thing. The adjuster is a great product. Go check them out. I'll put their link in the description below. Thank you.